Hello and welcome everyone, this is Silver here, and today it's more pirates. It's time for more pirates. But before that, I would like to apologize because apparently. Well, if you see this probably from last video, which is part two, I uh, finished it somewhere around, I believe, when I got 17th rank. But actually, now, as you can see, it loads. I'm actually 15. I've actually lost my footage of me going 17 to 15 which is quite depressing because I've actually had some pretty amazing games on to 15 and that's kinda well I can't really do much about it other than go even further really at this point so that's just what I have to do So. There's more pirates. My hope is to at least go down to 13. But we'll see. We are now at um, the pretty high levels. So we'll probably get quite a bit more difficult to win with a pirate deck. <laughs> but you never know. If we think things through and try to make it work. Just might. A warlock. Mm. I'm going first against a warlock. Usually warlocks will have most likely at this level, I am assuming he's gonna be a very rushy guy. Two silver champion one hurt. We will probably have to play that raider as it is though. Zest is this what it has to be? We'll see soon enough since I probably probably cannot let me help. Probably cannot do anything now, which is obvious. He will show if he has a Murloc or not. If he does, he will probably summon one now. Does not. I will just summon a raider then. And I could wait for sort of just as next turn and just, you know, do a reinforce, but honestly, I'd rather have a good minion out on the field. Plus, I pull the protector so I can protect the raider and do some efficient trading. That depends if he actually does something. He might just tap. I don't know. If he taps, I'll just sort of justice. Which is actually great for me. And the answer is very long uh, waiting. It's a loot hunter. We might just bong that with the Sword of Justice itself. Honestly. I know it's not the best thing to use it for, but when you can and you get more survivability of you on your uh, minions out of it, it's worth it. It's, it's good enough. I probably will. When I use it, I only probably use it ever once if I swing for it. But yeah, we won't control in the field, that's definite. We do get the grizzly staring down at us, which we can deal with with just uh, Saucy Deckhand, which we can even protect. First thing you can do here is Hellfire. We'll kill everything I have. He does have a lot of cards, you know, so that is possible. Also, since he has a lot of cards, this might mean that he has a Twilight Drake. We'll see. Ascension Shield Master is a bit annoying. We'll, uh, we'll end up having to trade two creatures for it. Two creatures or a creature and consecration. Hmm. It is a hard choice as such. I mean, I could save my creatures and just Eldor Peacekeeper and then trade and I'll keep everything literally. I. Do I want to do that? I want to keep my minions out. If I do Consecrate, I'll have to trade one anyway. But if I do this, I'll keep everything. So let's do this. And uh, 
we'll poke it with that. Just to, you know, just in case this guy uses Mortal Coil. I'm not gonna give him a one health minion. Just gonna rush him down. So if he does health fire, at least I will keep my uh, Eldor Peacekeeper. But he'll probably Mortal Coil it then. And if he does have that, then he really should do it right now. Otherwise, he's staring down at a shit ton of damage. So we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think anything else would be that threatening to me other than the Hellfire. He's using the card he just drew. Let's see what it is. It's a loot order. Okay. And he's gonna shut up all that. Which is fine. We have True Silver Champion. Which we'll use. Also summon a minion out. So let's see. We'll give him the card, why not? We'll just rush him down a bit. We have another True Silver Champion, so we have the we have the power to do that. So it still remains really the only thing that I really fear at the moment is Hellfire. If he doesn't Hellfire, he's in a very tight spot. Especially since I have Consecration and another True Silver. He has shown me that he's using a lot of taunts though, so he probably will summon a taunt now. Worst one would be would be um, Sunwalker as such. Let's find out. I have no way of directly removing a Sunwalker. And I would have to trade at least two minions or hit it with True Silver Champion. And probably still trade two minions, because <laughs> it will have five health. What will you do? It has to be a taunt. It has to be either a taunt or an AoE. Otherwise, yeah. Not the best of taunts, unfortunately. I will gladly trade one of my 3-2s for it. Like, I'm even tempted to trade a 2-2 and 1-1, but... Usually, 2 minions are better than... Uh, trading... 1. What's he gonna do? He's gonna demon fire the 3-2 out. I can understand him doing that. Sure. I actually can just consecrate. Then trade a one one and kill him. <laughs> Which works as well. I didn't even take a single point of damage that time. So yeah. There. So just have to win another game for um, 14. Going pretty well. Uh, that guy wasn't that amazing, perhaps. I mean, I wouldn't use Iron for a Grizzly to begin with. Pretty much um, almost under any circumstances. Not even in a beast deck. We get a Hunter, speaking of beasts. Let's see what he's using. Um, well, we are going second at least. Two Raiders. I might want to keep that Blessing of Wisdom. I'm not sure, I'm not too keen on keeping both Raiders, honestly. But I could get worse. So I'll keep it. Ideally I want at least a Sword of Justice, especially since I have a coin. Would quite be useful. But... <coughs> especially next turn, yeah. If I do not... If I do not uh, get Sword of Justice on the next draw, I was gonna just... Coin Raider, then I can Blessing of Wisdom that the next turn and get some cards back. Which that makes up for the coin. That is annoying. But it is not, that is great. So we're gonna withhold with the other thing for now. And just take care of that. That does put us available for a multi shot, but not this turn. He needs another mana. A River Crocolisk. And gonna kill that. I'm strangely fine with this. I can be very annoying. <laughs> I can uh, Blessing of Wisdom that. Blessing of Wisdom that. 
Give me cards. Give me all your cards. Right, so now, basically, <laughs> if he attacks with his cockles, he's gonna give me a card. And if he keeps that alive, I can keep getting cards. So this is quite the predicament. A buzzard. That's annoying. We do have a consecrate next turn. He does have the power to kill my uh, two three now. Hmm. Thank you for the card. I almost want to keep that two one alive for now. Can I actually do that in any way? I can if I. I mean, I can hammer a rod the two one. I really don't want to keep the two one alive. That's that's the thing. Should we? You know not what? Why not? That will help for next turn. That uh, allows me to silver salty deck and combo. So I love the two one to stay alive simply because it gives me cards. <laughs> a tundra rhino. That's annoying. He's not even gonna attack with the other thing. Well, that is uh, a good reason not to really. So we're gonna true silver champion. We are then gonna hit that thing. And kill it off with Sassy Dakhan. And summon Dread Corsair. Okay. So basically he's not gonna attack with that thing, so I'm I'm fine with that. Or he will. I'll give me a card. He probably has an arcane shot then. Animal companion. Oh that's annoying. He, he best hope he has an answer for that, or otherwise that's a great uh, trade for me. Doesn't seem like it, he seems to have that. You can still arcane shot. It'll just trade out trade. Okay. Suit yourself. Blood Sail Raider is the right choice here. I will not play anything else, I think. Or actually, I can't play that and that and risk him not having what I would hope he would not have. Let's Captain Sparrow first. Yeah. I'm actually not gonna attack with that. I mean, he can still multi shot, and uh, there's a very, I mean, there's a very l high likelihood that he's gonna still kill the 6 3, but that will allow me to bait out a multi shot. Come on! Ah. Ah, well. I knew he would do that, so. Can't help it, really. We don't really have that many plays, honestly. Divine Favor is useless. I might have to double captain. <laughs> double captain. I'll keep it true silver still. We have two consecrates, we have divine favor and we have avenging rat in our hand. Hunter's mark is annoying. And that is obviously Ah, he has the perfect trades. He has I mean that is obviously going to be, you know what? I don't really have any answer for it, do I? No. No way of bubbling my creatures, no way of pulling them back or anything like that. Yeah, you got lucky there. And not much we can do about it. Mm. I think at this point I will just hit him. Because we have another answer for big creatures in the form of Aldor Peacekeeper. He is playing pretty good. Another animal companion. Okay, Misha. Misha's pretty annoying. I guess. Hmm. There's really no point to use anything else, is there? The only way he can deal with this at the moment is to waste a multi shot. <laughs> okay. I guess you could do that.
Mm. Just gonna get rid of it just in case he has another kill command. I mean, he can still use a kill command and kill that, but. That gives me a feel a bit. It is still a waste because, I mean, really, it was a 1 2, but it was killing my little guys. I didn't like it. Okay, he's gonna shoot me, and is that all? Apparently, it is. I am just gonna hammer you. Okay. That's a pretty good field. You can probably still multi shot them. You may as well do because it's 5 damage on the field and he's down too. Yeah. He's down quite a lot. Huh. I am pretty much have to use my older peacekeeper as is. Just so I get a 4 4 on her. Hmm. Yeah. It's basically a race to see who he kills who first. You might have other answers. You might have an explosive shot for all I know. RMB gal. I guess that works. What did he draw? Another annoying bastard. Well, good for me, I have Consecrate. <laughs> What more could he have drawn though? Does he have arcane shot? A wolf. Huh. <laughs> Too bad for him, that's all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. And rank 14. Okay. Going pretty good. Well, I said we're facing tougher opponents, but I mean, they're not that tough. I mean, they're tough if we're facing them with this deck, but otherwise, uh, I wouldn't see much of a problem. A rogue. Hmm. <laughs> Double blessing and wisdom. Uh, not the best hand ever. I'll keep the consecration. I'll keep one of the blessing wisdoms. I'm not gonna keep red curse there. Hoping for a two cost. I'll get three costs. So we basically don't really have anything to do almost for the first few turns. Just summon a an acolyte. An acolyte. Uh, recruit. I don't even know where I got the acolyte from. He's raided all his hand. It's interesting to note. Does he ever play? Not often. Rogue has a one cost play. They might run leper gnomes or worgens. Nope. And we get the corsair back. That's nice. Uh, nothing really worth coining. I'm not gonna coin a recruit. Not against a rogue, which we can. He can just ping off. He's just gonna ping me off. <laughs> I'm gonna probably have to play that captain next turn. Or oh, actually, no, I don't have to. Now I have Captain Parrot. I get a raider. I probably kill the the parrot. I mean, he has to kill the parrot. It's a parrot. He could waste a shiv on it. I'm fine with that. He's gonna waste a backstab on it, so he can combo apparently I mean uh, it's fine I guess but still wasting a backstab on that I don't know I don't know man very obvious play here true silver kill that off and summon a freed red corsair See what it has then. If it doesn't kill the Corsair, I can at least summon Captain next turn. Well, have to summon the Raider because at the moment, of course, it's very useful. I might just consecrate if he summons more little creatures, though. It depends. It all depends on what he does. Let's see. 
An eviscerate. Apparently he couldn't combo with it, so he's gonna just dagger it off. Which I guess is fine. It'll deal two damage to me. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have the option of a double raider. Kill it off so it doesn't kill any of our six trees. And he's in an interesting spot here. These are very powerful creatures. I don't know what a rook can do. He can eviscerate, uh, not eviscerate, he can assassinate one of them. He can sap if he has saps, which would be quite annoying. An SI7 agent without comboing. Huh. I mean, I guess. Why not? Yeah, just go for the face. Make him do the trade. He'll obviously kill the one with the wisdom on it. I would assume. But yeah, I'm trying to rush him down, basically. I'll obviously do that. And he saps. He does have a sap, that's annoying. Ah, oh, well. And he just daggers, okay. Uh, divine favor will not help me here. Well, some of them. Cat dropped the thing. What I'm looking for here now is uh, what's its face? <laughs> what's its face? Avenging Rat. I will outright kill him if I deal enough damage. But he probably has an answer. Leroy Jenkins is gonna go for me. What? 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 Um, sure, you do that. I didn't even know. <laughs> and I can still kill it with Consecrate. <laughs> Let's see, do we have lethal? We have 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 4. Ah, he won't die for 1 health. One health. And the bad thing is we can't do Consecrate at the same time. We can otherwise Consecrate first. And hope for that to be out next turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, reasonable. Okay. 14. Not bad, not bad. We'll probably get 13. We might even go up to 10. I don't know. Doesn't look like it's that difficult so far. Just have to rush down pretty much everyone. <laughs> really the only way I can win with this deck. It's kind of hard to rush down a hunter though. Depending on the deck. And I'm going first, which sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. I'll keep the Consecrate and... Through Silver. Do I keep the Captain? Do I risk anything else? I'll keep the Captain. I might get a better, in a way. I hope so. I hope I get at least a 2-drop. Eh. More forecast things. So basically, I'm pretty much gonna be at his mercy until turn 4 and he's going aggro on me it's even worse with me that's unusable <sighs> yeah we are kinda just have to hold on till turn 4 gonna take a shit ton of damage a dire of alpha is not gonna be nice he's just outright going for me which I don't blame him for I can at least stop his momentum a bit. Mm. Which I will most likely do. And I'll go for him. So yeah, he can still deal, deal a shit ton of damage, but at least it's not 
I mean, it's not four and six, and two, six, and then eight. That's too much for a turn for me to handle. Here's an answer for my t three, apparently. But he's not going for it. He's gonna animal companion for a rush. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Ah, you, you little bugger, you. I might hold out on the consecrate and hammer of rod that thing away and throw my one one at it. Yeah. Uh, still take two damage and another two from his ability, but I will be able to do a bit more control next turn. A stone task bore. Well, he is f giving me all he's got, really. <laughs> Which is quite a lot, actually. Let's stop him in a bit. I'll just deck him, just because. Why not? I can even Blessing of Kings him next turn, which will be hilarious. Unless he, of course, has an Arcane Shield or something. Or that annoying bastard. Really, he had to have the exact thing he needed. Well then. Mm-hmm. Is a captain? Oh god, he has a thing for sure. I have to t give it a bit of damage. I have to. Even though he has a multi-shot for sure. If he has a multi-shot, I don't think I have... I don't know if I can make this work. Unleash the hounds. Huh. Okay, you're gonna go for a super buff. You can't kill that yet. You have to kill that with that first. That is annoying. I will have to probably hit that myself, even. Ah, uh, I'm in a very, very tough spot. Divine Favor will not help, as usual. I'm gonna have to parrot. And hope for something useful. Well, that is useful, but not enough useful. I have to hit it. I have to. Which is infuriating. That I have to hit that. But I have to hope that he doesn't kill my 7-4. That is my wish. He will be able to kill me in about 5 turns. Or even less. Oh, fucks you. Ah, of course he had explosive shot. I hate you, guy. You bugger you. I may as well define favorable one. At least two silver champion might uh, eat me alive. I can true silver champion and blessing of kings next turn on my tree tree. Hmm. An annoying secret, which is probably explosive crap. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. 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 Ah, come on. Of course, he had the exact n amount needed. Yeah, that guy. At all he needed to kill me right there. He had yeah, the, all the answers basically. You can't really do anything about that. He just basically was luckier than me. I just really would have appreciated going second with that hand. Because I really couldn't do anything at the start. And yeah, he wasn't really using that great creatures. But unfortunately, I just didn't get the cards I needed. So let's see, we really need to get to 13 tonight. A mage might be in our way, we have to get second, come on, give us the coin. Thank you. Going first against a mage is like suicide. Speaking of suicide, um, I think I'll remove the hammer rat. <laughs> okay, well, we can either for wait for turn 3 or turn 2 Sword of Justice into a turn 3 Dread Corsair 
or we can wait till turn 3 and do a true silver champion with coin it all depends if he's trying to rush me down in the start or not I darn well hope not so let's see what it does now if he just fire blasts me or coin sort of justice I'll just gonna fire blast me I'm fine with that you do that get that out early hopefully it does not have an acidic swamp boost that would suck I mean like really suck that's like my only like thing I'm fearing okay he's just gonna fire blast that's great that is great it gives me a 3 cost 4-4 four, four, which makes good value out of him it does really I can give it a blessing of wisdom next turn if I want, but he probably has a frost bolt. No Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi is annoying. I'll probably have to trade, is the worst thing. Or, well, I don't have to. I can uh, do that. <laughs> Actually, could have done. Uh, I could have done blessing of wisdom and still attacked. But I guess it's gonna probably frost bolt in this turn anyway. And a zero drake, huh? Well, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Yeah. That's a raider. This is gonna be a four four. I am then gonna let's see. Summon a little guy. Kill that. Blessing of Wisdom, that. Okay, Blessing of Kings. Good, good. So, basically, we have to think very differently starting next turn because then he's gonna start having uh, the availability of. Oh, well, that's annoying. The availability of uh, Flame Strike. But anyway, he did that, so. Whatever. So he has seven cards, we have six. We can't really do something and divine favor. We can just outright divine favor for two cards. Which it's a good enough use of divine favor, let's do that. Captain Sparrow, Hammer of Rot. Hmm. I mean I can't Captain Sparrow, that's about it. We get a deck hand. Do we want to use the deck hand? Not really, because we're gonna lose that. So let's see if I will flame strike this field or not. We might have another blizzard for all I know, which is good enough use to do it. And magi, he might have a nakin explosion, which will still kill everything. Yep. Yeah. Of course you do, a little, a little scrublet. Too bad I have this. And smack you. And I'll just Corsair and summon that. I don't want to use the Deccan yet unless he can uh, kill something, because otherwise he's just gonna kill it himself. Just pointless. He might flame strike now, I don't know. A water elemental. Hmm. We can get rid of that fairly easy. Will he still kill the 1 1? If he does not, that'll be great for me. He can get rid of both, okay. Annoying, very annoying, but it's a mage, nothing new really. And smack. That brings him down to 22. Start, we need to start getting our avenging rats. That'd be great. He still uh, hasn't used any fireballs, any polymorphs, or anything. That's pretty much why I'm holding on my Tyrion. There's one polymorph. Hmm. Very annoying, very annoying. 
So let's see, what are our options? We can use three silver champion to knock out the two tree before it gets out of hand. We can then pretty much do nothing almost. I let's see, we can I probably use both, but we can just two silver consecrate. It's a huge waste, honestly. But he's not showing that he has better. I don't like that being out either. Ending I send to it will pretty much just die. Mm, yeah. It's a horrible thing to waste, but it's coming to a point where I just have to use it. I'm gonna probably regret that because I might need it for other things. He's gonna arcane intellect for cards. He may as well. I mean, he has all the mana in the world. Another arcane intellect. Okay, he's going all out. I am. I don't really want to use Tyrion yet. Not until uh, he's at least used all his crap. <laughs> I may as bloody well. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I need to rush him down at this point. So let's just do it and hope he does not do something weird like kill everything I have. Which he can. He can uh, pop something. He can pop the other thing with that, and then he can flame strike, and then I'll cry. Yep. I mean, I was expecting. I couldn't do really anything about it. Yep. I had to use a blessing of kings on that. I'm basically trying to bait out his uh, polymorph, is what I'm doing. And you know. I mean, a polymorph, he might just fireball, honestly. Which. Yeah. Or he'll just... Ah! You bastard! Finish it off with exact cards he needed. Ah. Yeah, it's almost impossible, impossible for me to bait out the other polymorph. I'm not gonna have anything threatening enough for him. Certainly not. He'll obviously do the obvious trade. He'll keep freezing me as well, which is annoying. The annoying thing is that at this point I need to start using it. I need to use Tyrion. Even if it means him having polymorph. Because <sighs> I. I'm probably gonna lose at this rate, especially if this guy runs the obvious things. Which, I mean, judging by all the spell damage, he has to have. <sighs> he has to have pyroblasts. Avenging Rad will help. Now, kill the minions, kill the minions! No, you bastard! Oh, come on! Ah! Ah! So infuriating! So horribly infuriating! My god, I'm probably dead just because of that. Holy shit. Oh, I wish I kept that Consecrate. I'm gonna lose terribly. Damn you Avenging Rats, you betrayed me. Yeah, you do your shit, you obviously win. Nah. Not gonna stand around for your... 10 year play. Uh, I hate people that have the perfect answers to all your things. Might not even get to 13 today. Sucks. For me to get to 13, I think I would need two straight wins now. 
Um, pardon. Get rid of that. Honestly, I want to get rid of that as well. Oh uh, well. Horrible starts. Yeah, I don't know what to do even. I'm gonna have to do the usual waiting for turn two coin justice. What else can I do? I'll kill that with my sorrow justice just to get rid of it. You know, just in case he oozes anyway, I may as well use it. I don't really have anything worth using it on, though, anyway, because it's too early for Peacekeeper. Some random secret. Yeah, I'm fine with you using that. I want to debate it out. So let's see. There's a few ways he can deal with this. He can hammer a rat and kill it. Or he can just summon that for no reason. He's gonna hit at them anyway, which is interesting. Huh. So let's see, what should we do? What's the best way to deal with it? Well, we can hammer a rat and hit it. Which as such is not the worst thing ever. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if he wants a ways to consecrate on that, he's welcome to. He already brought it down enough for Hammer of Wrath, which I assume is what he's doing. Or he's gonna waste a true silver hit, I guess, uh, after, after all that, to hit him a bit. You're welcome to do that. I may as well have another one. You never know. I may have another one with a bubble. What are you gonna do now, eh? What are you gonna do now? You're gonna be an annoying pick. Okay. Uh, someone actually using owls. Jesus Christ. This is the first. I've hardly ever seen anyone use owls. Hmm. I think I'll just consecrate. Well, that basically reset everything. Now, though, we should be careful using Tyrion then. He must like silences, this guy. What will he do? He's just gonna reinforce and probably summon another taunt. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> And now I have to. <laughs> well, he's still being quite uh, conservative. I might just tear you next turn. A cult master. A protected cult master. Which is pointless because I can just throw a 1 1 at it. <laughs> That's something not to do. I'm not gonna avenging rat because it might kill these two first and that would be bad that would be pretty bad
You know what? Balls to it. I am gonna do that on a 1-1. One -one. Okay. I'm not gonna swing just because I drew Captain Greenskin. So if he wants to waste something on that to kill it, he's welcome to. A Guardian of Kings is quite annoying. It's pretty hard for us to kill that. So we do have another Avenging Rot. But what I want to do here is Tyrion. Gives me another card. Mm. You might have another silence, but you still will have a 6 6 to deal with. He most likely has another silence, he has to. If he likes the owl, he must like multiple silences. Yep, call that. I'm fine with, honestly. He can throw both his minions to kill it. Doesn't even have to kill about as many ends to kill it. He's gonna completely ignore it, even. Now, let's see, best way to deal with this. We could outdoor that thing. And then. Uh, Actually, why am I even why am I even doing that? Why didn't I kill four three? What the hell am I doing? I don't know. I basically debilitated him just for to kill it without taking damage. I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, quality. Don't you consecrate? Don't you dare! You have to hit it with that first. Sort of justice, huh? I guess he can ping off things himself. He should kill the 5 1, obviously, so he'll throw the 1 1 at it. And then probably hit it himself. That's fine. I, I will gladly take that 5 damage you gave yourself. And Blessing of Kings. And smack. Let's see you get out of that one. You sly bugger. He basically needs his own avenging rat to come back. Or that that or Or a Tyrion. A Tyrion could do. Why the ball's not? He had to pull the exact thing he needed there, didn't he? Sheesh. Are you really gonna take the damage? Okay. Sure. I guess that was a good enough play. Well... Let's get a car out of it at least. Sword of Justice. Gonna hit him just in case I draw a hammer of rot. <laughs> so let's see. The worst thing that he could have drawn now would be consecration for me. That works. You annoying bastard, you have to have everything you need. Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you bloody kidding me?
Ah, this is gonna be so close. This guy is so annoying. To top deck a Tyrion exactly as he needed, like nothing else, is annoying as hell. Yeah, you obviously have to kill that. Or can he kill me? No. Luckily not. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. How lucky are people tonight? This guy top deck the two things he needed to kill me. Holy shit. <laughs> if I lose again, uh, that's it. I... I think that'll be it for tonight. I'll probably try to uh, do some ranked uh, without recording just to get some stars back so next time won't be as annoying. Because really I'm losing to people with <sighs> extreme luck. I, I, I really, I'm sorry, but that's not skill. <laughs> just people being very, very annoying at me. I mean... Come on! Of all the things. And what the hell is this hand? What is this hardness? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, at least if it's a rush deck, I have consecration. But meh. I bet this guy's gonna get everything he needs to kill me as well. That's kind of weird. That sort of is weird. I'm gonna put it away from my consecration, which is annoying. Yeah, this guy is rushing me down, and I can't do shit about it. Not even with consecration at this rate. Not unless I take care of that two one. Don't you bloody have? Okay, so he is running Murlocs. Buff the Murloc. Buff the Merlock. Thank you. Well, I wish I can consecrate, but I cannot. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a captain out. <laughs> Cause because. Cause it's a captain. Look at him. It's a captain. Oh, come on. Don't be an annoying bastard. Merlock will lead there. Ah. Ah, <laughs> you annoying little, 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 little. Ah, <sighs> you are so gonna die, warlock bastard. <sighs> I probably has another war leader. A oh, fucking shadow ball. So yeah, his plan is to rush me down. I'm just gonna kill that off. Sick of it. I want to kill the two one appropriately, even though he will get another buff from it somehow. Let's just see to what extent he will rush me. He's gonna life tap, which is fine. I like him life tapping, I get to find favor. And I've juggled over to die immediately. So all that. <laughs> gonna waste his soul fire. Ah, old Merkai. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Why would you even do that? Oh, come on! Bastard, of all the things you buffed that. Screw it. Eh, ah, can't do shit, can I? Oh my goodness, if he still wins this, even after using both soul fires so recklessly. 
Uh, I don't know what to think. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare charge me. You son of a la. Are you really gonna. Okay. I guess. Why not? I ain't playing anymore, bastard. <laughs> More luck, maybe. Okay. You annoying bastard. Oh, that's definitely gonna be Hammer of Routed. Unless he trades. As apparently he's doing. Fine. You do whatever you want. I ain't getting any of my weapons. This is annoying. <sighs> I hate warlocks. I never really get to a top decking position because they always get annoying cards. Summon another tank, come on, summon another tank. I dare you. If you won't, then I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I dare you to life up now. You're dead if you life up now. Well, actually, you won't be. No, oh, yes, you will. <laughs> actually, what am I saying? At least. Well, this is where we got. Hopefully, we'll do better next time. Oh well. I don't know what I can do to make it better, but I'll see. Thank you for watching. See you next time.